a major medical milestone today as the FDA approves a drug to treat sickle cell anemia. What makes it historic is it's the first drug using gene, a gene editing therapy called CRISPR. Investors looking at it, depending on the stocks, as a sell the news event. As the companies involved, Vertex is down about 1%. CRISPR uh, seeing a decline of almost 9% today. Uh, bigger uh, drops elsewhere. Joining us now is Dr. Reshna, Reshma Kewal Ramani. She is the CEO of Vertex, along with our own pharma reporter, Angelica people to dive more into this blockbuster news. Angelica, kick things off for us. Yeah, well, it's great to see you today, Reshma. We've been talking about this for a long time, but I want to start with the price because I think a lot of people will wonder, you know, about why this drug is $2.2 million per person. So explain how we got here and what the feedback has been from payers so far. It's good to see you, Angelica, and good afternoon, all. It's a historic day for patients living with sickle cell disease. This is a medicine based on CRISPR-Cas9 technology. It's a gene editing medicine that holds the promise to be a one-time curative treatment. Sickle cell disease is a devastating disease. People who have this describe it as a Mack truck hitting them and the truck going up and down and up and down again. It's the kind of pain that people describe as worse than childbirth. And this is a medicine that holds the potential to do away with all of those VOCs or venoclusive crises. We believe that the price of a medicine should reflect the value that it brings. And the value that this brings is a one-time therapy for potentially a lifetime of cure. And we've seen some other companies that have offered sort of a money back guarantee. Are you offering any specific arrangements with payers? And what has the feedback been so far? I, I have to tell you, we have talked to um, patients, physicians, payers, both in the private and on the government side. There is unanimous enthusiasm for this medicine for patients with sickle cell disease because it's widely recognized that sickle cell disease, unfortunately, has been marginalized and there has not been innovation in this field for many, many years. And equally, the potential of Kasjevi has been recognized. So the feedback has been unanimous and positive. And uh, doctor, if you could just sort of talk a little bit about this. It's a, it's a one-time treatment as we understand. It carries a $2.2 million wholesale price tag, but is, is, do we call it a cure after people receive this treatment? Are they cured effectively? You know, as a physician, I don't use the word cure very lightly at all. But if you ask our patients, I think they would describe it to you as a cure. What this medicine does is it takes a patient's own stem cells. We take it to our labs and we edit it in a very precise way and then return the patient's own cells to them. And with that return of their own cells with this edit, we give them this opportunity to live a life without these venoclusive crises. That's exactly what the power of this CRISPR gene editing therapy is.